Hey guys, Pat Ryarkey here, also known as the Patriarchy. All hail the Patriarchy, well into 2017. The mainstream media hasn't learned a fucking thing. All of this time, we have repeatedly tried to remind them, even help them if you will. I think if anything, uh, people like me have only been trying to help the media um, the last year. If you go back to one of my early videos where I talk about... Um, Donald Trump stories and them reporting on very <clears throat> mundane things, very very stupid things, small minute things and blowing them up into big stories. I said in that video well over a year ago, I said like, well it wasn't a year ago, it was like six months ago, what am I saying? But it was, it was before Donald Trump was president. I had said in the video, I made a clear point that the more you keep reporting stuff like this, the more you keep blowing up these small things, Donald Trump's just going to become normal and win. Because as crazy as you might think he is, you're crazier. Um, and they they didn't heed that warning from anyone. It's not like that was a warning I just put. Everyone was saying this to CNN and to Washington Post and the New York Times and BuzzFeed. And everyone was, everyone was trying to remind them, like, guys, the stuff you're doing is going to hurt Hillary Clinton in the long run and only benefit Donald Trump because you're speaking nonsense. Well, here we are. Like a lot of the times, I do a video a few days before something really breaks huge. Because I did a video, like, what, three, a couple days ago on Han Asshole Solo um, and and them finding, his, them tracking down his Reddit account and finding his videos and accusing him of racism. Um, and if you don't know, he's the guy that apparently originated the Trump uh, CNN meme with, with the WWE that Trump uh, posted on his Twitter and blew up and everyone said it was inciting violence and the fucking worst thing a president's ever done is, is share a meme. So obviously we all mock that and I made a video mocking it and then I found out that they, they found this guy, Han Asshole Solo, and I was like, oh, well this guy's probably just a troll um, on 4chan or Reddit and, and this is bullshit, they're just going after him. And I thought that was going to be the end of it because CNN put out a statement that I covered in that video. And they said, like, hey, you know, they pretty much just attacked Donald Trump. And they said, we wish the president was spending his time doing other things, doing his job, and we're going to be doing ours. And I thought, you know, that's that's not a bad response. Because what they were basically saying is, like, well, Donald Trump's, you know, posting tweets and, and being playful, which I thought was a funny-ass meme. And they said, you know, we're trying to do our job, even though we all know that's bullshit. But still, what? not a bad response. However, though, CNN just had to put the, the foot in the mouth... Because immediately after this, when I thought, well, that's probably going to be the last thing they talk about with this. They're probably going to drop this whole thing with, with Han Asshole. And uh, now it's come out that they got a hold of him, and they pretty much blackmailed him. And people are debating whether or not this is blackmail, or what they did was right or wrong, or, or if this was unethical. And people on the internet are very extreme about this because people don't like doxing. And other people say journalists do this kind of stuff all the time. So basically, they got a hold of him and talked to him about it, and he was very upset because um, CNN got a hold of him for posting a meme. He made a meme. He, they were so mad that Trump put this meme up, and they couldn't do anything to Trump. They had to go track the guy down who made the meme and get a hold of him and threatened it to put his name out there. Now, the rumors are, and I don't know if these are true. These are rumors, so take it with a grain of salt, that he was 15, that he's actually a, like a teenager. He's not an adult. And they were basically threatening a teenager. If that's true, this is really going to blow up in CNN's face, but I don't know if that's true or not. No matter how you spin it, though, this is bad for CNN. Their reaction to the meme was laughable. It just led to people making more Trump memes uh, getting CNN. I've seen dozens. They're all hilarious. And, and then after that, it led to a big backlash against CNN. And again, obviously, and there's been a lot coming out going at CNN with the Russia stuff and a lot of that, that that's that's uh, quite up for criticism. CNN doesn't look very good the last month or so. Then they do this, and now we're finding out they're going after they're going after a kid. They're going after an, uh, meme makers, like any of us who post a meme on Twitter or or a GIF or something like that that makes shit or make videos even. Uh, CNN is making this a big deal now. They're finding us because it's a Trump thing. It's like, so you can do the same thing with Bernie Sanders, you can do the same thing with Hillary Clinton, you can make memes about all sorts of stuff, Obama, you make a Trump meme and they hunt you down, they fucking track you down, they had the BuzzFeed guys track them down, yeah, they have the BuzzFeed trackers, 
And uh, I don't know what they were expecting. I guess they thought they... I think they were trying to dig up dirt and find a bunch of racist stuff the kid did. And then be like, look, he's a racist Trump supporter. Trump shared a racist tweet. Um, which would have backfired again. Because that doesn't make Trump racist because he, sh he liked the, the meme. So it, no matter what CNN tried to do with this, no matter what angle they took, it was going to backfire. But they had to take the absolute worst angle possible. Um, here's a here's a bit of an article we'll skim through and get to the points though and, and get on that. But go watch my previous video if you can. I did cover a lot of this stuff um, before it came out later that CNN actually pretty much said that, hey, we're going to reveal this guy's information if he changes uh, his stances on anything, if he doesn't. Because he, I guess he, he put out an apology. He said he was remorseful. He said people shouldn't do this. He's going to stop doing this. He's going to change his ways. But the, the, it's kind of creepy. It's like, wait, so I, I'm very... I really wish somebody could find Han Asshole Solo without exposing him and talk to him and find out what really happened. Because none of us really know. And we're only getting it from CNN. But I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. It was difficult for CNN to find a way to screw up the story. Here was President Trump tweeting out juvenile insults at them. All they had to do was scoff and point out that Trump is the president, not some 4chan shit poster. This was a gimme. It's true. It, it is true. Yeah, they had, like I said, they had it in their hands. They could have just, you know, this could have been a bad on Trump. We would have all enjoyed it. But for CNN fans, they could have just been, well, hey, Trump's just being Trump, looking at being a juvenile child again. And it would have worked to their credit. Instead... They look way worse than Donald Trump does in that. They look horrible in this. They look completely unethical. They look like assholes. And it just continues the downward spiral of CNN and the mainstream media. It's beautiful. Hug your memes tonight. Hug your memes. I said this on Twitter. They're coming after them. They might not be there in the morning. Hug your memes. Tuck them into bed. Tell them a story. First, they claimed that the GIF was an actual threat of violence, or at the very least, would prompt violence from Trump supporters. Yeah, I know. This comes shortly after Bernie Sanders supporting Trump-hating leftists attempted to assassinate dozens of Republicans' Congress people. Yeah, that really does backfire the whole, like, Trump's trying to incite violence when some crazy guy that was a leftist, who I think Bernie had nothing to do with or, or the left, but this crazy guy basically went to go shoot Republicans, and somehow they're trying to spin the story that, the, that there's Republicans out there going to kill liberals. It's like, uh, guys, it was just a recent story. Have a little fucking decency about it. It's like the mainstream media doesn't give a shit that, that, that these guys were shot at. I mean, could you imagine if that had been uh, Democrats who were, who were going to get threatened with, with death like that, and if a few of them were black, what the media would have spun that into? I guarantee you they would have spun that into so many things. Instead, they're like, well, it was a crazy guy, which is the right answer, but they never give that answer for most things. They have to make it a race-baiting thing 90% of the time. They're like, oh, it's just some crazy guy. It's like, okay, wait. So Trump puts up a meme, and that's the end of the world, and then some guy tries to shoot Republicans, and it's just a crazy guy? What's the what's the logic here? What may, What is crazy then? And what's if Trump's the violent evil one <laughs> in this situation? Um... And CNN insisted rightly that the left-wing rhetoric was responsible for nut jobs committing evil crimes. But that logic went directly out the window when CNN saw an opportunity to pounce on Trump. Then it got worse. On Sunday, CNN dropped a report on the tweet that reported that re the report didn't focus on why the president would tweet such a thing. It didn't focus on why the president would be trolling Reddit for Twitter material. It didn't even focus on why the Trump White House and Trump campaign made a un made an unsubtle uh, made unsubtle overtures to the underbelly of the internet. Okay? Those, those are all very good points. They could have uh, got a lot of ground on stories on that. No, CNN decided to focus on the original shit poster who put up the Reddit meme. Trump hijacked, uh, Trump hijacked for his Twitter. CNN's Andrew, uh, Kaczynski put out a piece tracking down the Redditor who put it up. Kaczynski reported that the guy's feed was full of anti-Semitic and racist imagery, which I think could all be Pepe's and Trump. We have no idea what that even means. But added that the man had apologized profusely online, said that he never wanted Trump to put up the meme, and started and stated that the meme wasn't meant to encourage violence. Yeah, no shit. CNN is not publishing Han Asshole Solo's name because he is a private citizen who has issued an extensive statement of apology, showed remorse by saying he has taken down all of his offending posts, and because he said. 
because he said he is not going to repeat the ugly behavior on social media again. In addition, he said his statement could serve as an example to others not to do the same. CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change. That's essentially blackmail. That's CNN stating that it will out the guy if he dares to defy their political perspective or offends them sufficiently. The whole story is frightening and obviously an attempt to both nail Trump and discourage people from smacking CNN. Um, yeah, here's the thing. Um, I'm not, I know a lot of people are going to say I'm, because I'm a smaller channel, I'm just jumping on the bandwagon. Like, oh, I, I got up today and I saw that everyone made a video on this, so I had to make a video on this. No, I was on this early last night. I was balls deep in this last night. Go check my Twitter. I was with everyone else. This is no reason to cause a bandwagon effect. We should all unite over this, because fuck CNN. Even even the even the skeptics that I'm not a fan of or the anti SJW channels right that I'm not a fan of, everyone was in agreement last night that CNN was fucked up and we all rejoiced in it and I'm going to, I I I want everyone to make a video on this. I don't care if everyone makes the same points. I don't care if everyone's saying the same thing. This needs to be said over and over and over again. There's nothing if if Razor Fist makes a vid, Sargon makes a vid, V makes a vid, Dave Cullen makes it. Everyone should make a vid. Everyone should make a vid on this. There's nothing wrong with that. This is important shit. Because um, last night, I was right there at Twitter when this broke. I was watching live streams on it last night. Um, uh, people just talking about it. I mean, I was very interested. I wanted to make sure that this wasn't just um, rumor, a lot of internet speak. It did come off very clear after looking at it deeply that, yes, yeah, CNN did say this. And it made it very clear that CNN pretty much was saying we're going to reveal this guy's information if he doesn't play ball. Um... And this is a guy that we saw just recently was excited, like, hey, the god emperor shared my meme. He was excited. Now he's saying he didn't want Trump to share it. I don't believe that. I think he did want it. Um, so this is so creepy. It's very creepy. Um, and, and the thing is, when when you start when we started on Twitter last night, it just kicked off so many memes. 9-11 memes or Trump's the airplane crashing into the CNN Twin Towers. Um, I mean, it's uh, Starship Troopers, uh, Rocky... Um, Game of Thrones, every every action film ever, Rambo, there was a meme last night, every iconic image of war or, or something terrible, every tragedy had CNN last night, Donald Trump, there was memes of it all, it was insane, and everyone was saying, alright CNN, are you going to get a hold of us, it was so nice, it was so cool to feel that um feeling of like, hey, this is what made the Trump thing so cool, you know, this is what made the election so cool for a lot of us, is that you know these these guys for so years for so long have been pushing a narrative for eight years a decade or longer and pushing a narrative on us and then we thought we were in such a small group of people on 4chan or on reddit or, or you know that stuff you know with our shit posting having fun you know i know it's below the intellectuals of sam harris stature and all that but people having fun harmless harmless fun really and then it became the mainstream people were talking about pepe and now it's CNN's trying to talk about meme culture, and they're going after someone who made a meme, showing they don't they don't get it at all. How did BuzzFeed even think this was a good idea? Did nobody talk to each other at a point and say maybe we shouldn't do this? This is probably a really bad idea, getting hold of someone and saying we're, we're going to hold their information like this. This is probably going to piss some people off. I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, like some people are making it out to be. Journalists do this. They've done this for a long time. Um, reporters do this, newspapers do this, magazines do this. Um, there's a there's this myth of a lot of ethics being practiced in the mainstream. That doesn't mean that single journalists don't have ethics, but there's a lot of ethical practice not being shown by CNN and, and New York Times and other outlets. And it's uh it's it's something that I've been saying for a long time now. Like I said, I covered a video on that stuff a long time ago. It's just old. It's old at this point. This isn't that surprising. It's surprising CNN was this stupid. But God, just watch any CNN, watch one show with Don Lemon and any of them yelling about bullshit. It's the same crap every night. It's just ratings. It's just reality TV. And once the show's over, once Trump leaves, CNN's going to have nothing and, and go back to being irrelevant. And the internet will still be here and people will still be posting memes about the next election. Is CNN going to comment on the next election meme? I mean, God, four years of this? Are we going to have four years of them talking about memes? Um, this is like Shia going after 4chan and the whole flag thing happening and it blowing up in his face and driving him crazy. CNN's trying to go down the rabbit hole of the internet and that never ends well. Um, you can't win. 
I don't go down the rabbit hole of the internet. I don't go after trolls. I don't try to start shit with, with the wrong people. Because you can't. You can't win. You can't win. If people want to start making memes trashing you or making fun of you, God, it's going to go on forever. I mean, I thought Pepe and Kekistan would die off. And it doesn't seem to have died off at all. So, needless to say, the CNN Trump meme thing's only going to grow with stature as time goes on. As it should. As it should. We're in a world now where the, the media claims moral um, superiority and uh, integrity and professionalism. And they have a point to go against Donald Trump's anti-professionalism mentality. Except that's exactly why Trump is popular. Um, because he has the foresight to know that the internet is big and has impact on young people and is influencing people where the media likes to only use the internet as a way to call out racism or hatred or attack people and uh it's the irony of it all is that they've been they've been labeled fake news and they tried to spin that originally on people like me or internet sources and now everyone just associates fake news with somewhere like cnn um, every choice they've made, except for the ones like the Russia stories to lead to ratings, are good choices for short term. On a long term scale, CNN's just falling apart, and uh, needs uh, needs to be um, how needs to clean up house. Several people need to be fired. They need to rearrange people. They need to they need to change how they're doing things there. Um, I said in my last video to Han Asshole Solo that I support you and I'm here for you, man. And uh, I, I was sad that they were labeling you a racist and all that in these articles. And I was upset that they even tracked you down and made a big deal out of it because you made a fucking meme, dude. So to anyone out there um, who is making memes or, on, or forums like that having fun, I'm sorry that you have to be scared of stuff like this. I hope, on, uh, I hope Han's all right. I hope Kylo didn't stab him. I want him to be okay. I'm not the channel that's going to get in contact with him, but I hope somebody can get in touch with him somewhere and um, find out what happened. Because I'd like to know the truth on this. I really would. I'd like to know the full story. All we have is CNN putting out this awful statement that they shouldn't have put out. And they're like almost bragging that they tracked a guy down and they're going to reveal his information. Like, that's going to help anything. Like, revealing who this guy is and that he made a meme isn't going to help your anti-Trump narrative at all. It's just going to make people go, why are you talking about this guy? That's weird. It's not sane. It, it's the continuation of the downfall that we're seeing from these people that invested a lot of money in Hillary Clinton. They put a lot of money into their narrative. They put a lot of money into Donald Trump losing, and they didn't get that. So they have to spend all of their, try, all of their time trying to fix that mistake. But you can't fix a mistake that way. You just keep adding on to it. They don't want to reestablish everything. They don't want to look at themselves and go, well, maybe we need to fix this a little bit. Instead... It's got to be, okay, well, we were completely in the right, and everyone who voted Trump was a racist and bigot and wrong. Russia had to do it because we can't put the blame on ourselves. And you'll keep losing until the day that you come out officially and say, CNN, us, CNN, we, we fucked up. We keep fucking up, and we have to stop fucking up. But they don't want to do that because they're as arrogant as Trump. The difference is Trump has the power as the president. Trump has the base. Trump has the supporters. CNN doesn't have that. I know there's the resistance, but CNN doesn't have that same level of support. MSNBC gets better ratings. Rachel Maddow has more power. It's a waste of their time, um, but it is what it is. Anyway, hug your memes tonight. Tell them you love them. And uh, praise Keck, MAGA, what the fuck ever, you know, we'll do it all. Let's do it all out of the way. Hillary sucks. Benghazi. All right, so uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Give me your opinion in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Love you. Always have.